Hello, this is Mark Summers here with another update on my solar-powered mobile device charging hat. We just received these new PCBs that were special made uh, for, the, for these hats. Uh, these PCBs have all of the parts that we need to make this happen. Um, it has a solar charge controller, which is MPPT. Uh, meaning that it's going to provide the maximum power that is possible to get off of the solar cells regardless of lighting conditions. It's basically just a, a smart regulator. And what that's going to do for us is it's going to allow us to make use of light that's significantly less powerful than was previously required. So either heavily obscured outdoor light or uh, even indoor light, if it's strong enough, uh, you can now charge the battery. I'll be very slow here. Okay, the other thing we've got is uh, there's now a connector right here for USB power in. So this is cool. Uh, previously, there was no way to charge the battery except off of solar power. Uh, this is my older uh, unit that I used here, and you note there is no way to attach uh, a power. That, I just threw that together uh, with parts that I had available. This PCB, of course, is going to work a lot better. Uh, but yeah, so now you can actually charge it off of USB power. So that's great. If you're going on like a hiking trip or something and you want to take this hat, uh, now you can charge it via this port before you go and you know you're starting with a full battery. So that's good. A couple more quick notes. Right now, the battery charging circuit is limited to only 150 milliamps. Um, now, we may or may not change that in the future. I actually kind of like it as an extra safety feature, uh, limiting the amount of power that's going into the battery, uh, just making it a little bit safer. So the batteries we use, you know, they are lithium iron phosphate, meaning they're much safer chemistry uh, than the battery that you've got in your phone or, or whatever device. Um, but nonetheless, you know, let's add a little bit of safety on top of that. Uh, just because people are going to have these things on their heads, we want to make sure that they're as safe as we can make them. So if you are going to charge this battery here, uh, it is going to take a, a longer time to charge than it may otherwise. So you just leave it charging overnight, or at least for a few hours, to make sure that the battery is full. And like I say, we may change that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to turn on my artificial light source here. Now this is not going to create as much power as the sun would, or not even very close, uh, but it's useful for testing. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to look at the voltage I'm getting off of this solar cell right now. Let me move this so that you can see it. Just put it right, well, let's see, put it over there. Sure, okay. Um, and you can see right now I'm getting about one volt. Uh, in direct sunlight it would be more like 1.8, maybe two volts. Uh, but yeah, this is this is fine for testing. And now I'm going to hook this up to my new PCB, and hopefully I'm going to see a charge on the battery port. There we go, 3.8 volts, perfect. So that's the voltage that it needs to drive the charging of this lithium iron phosphate battery. Lithium iron phosphate batteries are uh, a little lower voltage than standard lithium ion batteries. Uh, but so, yeah, it's, it's not as high as you might see on a lithium-ion uh, uh, battery. All right, so let's uh, connect the battery to the battery port here. And now I'm going to connect my USB power tester to the output port. And, oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, okay, so we're getting 5 volts. Well, close enough, 4.98 volts out. That's great, so it's taking the power off of the solar cells and the battery, it might be drawing from the battery. No, it shouldn't be, because there's not enough draw. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's, it's taking that power and it's converting it to 5 volts so that it can be used to charge a phone. Great. Alright, so the next thing that I want to test, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the, the PCB is giving me this ability that I haven't had in my... Uh, rather haphazardly constructed prototype so far, which is the ability to actually charge this via external USB power. So, okay, I'm gonna grab my uh, power cord here and my USB power cord and just put it right in there. Uh, you do have to face it the right way. Oh, there we go. 
Hey, all right, I think it's working. Uh, so there's the, the light indicates that yes, it's receiving a charge. I'm gonna turn off my artificial solar uh, source so that you can see it. And yes, it is charging, excellent. Uh, that's a very bright light. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so everything looks great. It looks like uh, the, the, the charging from external source is working, and I can draw power. I can see that the, the USB output is also on at the same time, so I think we're good here. So this is great. Uh, everything looks like it works. I'll do some more testing later and, and monitor uh, how quickly that charge to the battery is happening. And, uh, and, other, and do some tests in actual sunlight, things like that. Um, and I'll have some more testing videos as well. But I think overall, I think we are now ready. Uh, that, that the one thing that was kind of holding me back was uh, my kind of uh, roughshod uh, prototype constructions that I had done. Uh, and I wanted to try something a bit more professional and, and, make, and see how it performs under those conditions. And now I'm finally ready to do that. So uh, yeah, I think we are now ready to proceed with the uh, actual Kickstarter campaign and getting these things out there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, go ahead and take a look at the Hackaday page if you haven't already. Uh, I'd invite you to uh, monitor to, to watch that project. I'll try and uh, keep some updates on there going forward, and uh, once again, thank you for your time.